Good morning. It is another beautiful, beautiful Southern California winter. I mean, it's beginning of December and here I am in a light sweater, t-shirt, and it's sunny. So anyways, today it's a Friday. We're not going to do anything too radical except change IP addresses for all of our equipment up here at Santiago Peak. Okay, kind of radical, but again, this is part of this SD-WAN project. Um, I know, the last several episodes have all been about SD-WAN this, SD-WAN that, anyways, it's almost over, I promise. But this is what my life is right now, this is what my projects are right now, and I'm bringing you along with me. So, yeah, that's what we're doing changing all the IP addresses up here at the site so that way we can put them behind the new firewall routers and then what we're going to do is uh, we have that microwave link and then we have the um, AVPN circuit we're going to put those into the routers and one will be the primary one will be the backup microwave will be the primary AVPN will be the backup hopefully that's the plan Finally made it up here to Santiago Peak. I'm like trying to remember where am I? <laughs> Finally made it up here to Santiago Peak. And now what we need to do is get all of the IP addresses changed over. So all of these devices, all of these devices are all set on a certain subnet. So I need to move them over to a different subnet. So that way we can take advantage of the Fortinets and the FortiGates. Um, and that'll be my SD-WAN, utilizing the microwave, utilizing the AVPN, and we should be good to go, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now, hopefully I don't lose internet up here because that's what happened at another site. Hopefully. Now, I've got my computer open. I'm gonna be changing IP addresses for all of the equipment up here, and hopefully that will allow me to be able to get us behind all that FortiGate stuff. So I'm logging in to our remote control right now. So that way I can change its IP address. It's always important to drink water. So with the Burke remote controls, you have the head unit and then you have all the individual parts. You have the Plus X um, device, which is basically SNMP. Uh, you have an input unit, which is status and analog meters and then you have the command relays. So all of those devices need to have a new IP address. So probably gonna save myself some time if I change those first. In the head unit, there is a list of what those IP addresses are for those different devices. So if I change that list first, it might save me a little bit of time on the other end. So that way, as I change the head unit, it'll be on the new network. And as I go down the list and change each individual device to that new network, then that should just populate in to there. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. At least I'm up here so that way if uh, something does go wrong, I am able to recover and roll back. And actually I could be a little bit more free with what IP addresses I gave these. Before, I had kind of squeezed them in to whatever open IP addresses that we had uh, because this site shared all of its IP address space with Santa Ana. And so not everything was contiguous and standardized like I do at the other, other sites. But now, I should be able to. Should be able to. We'll see. All right. Well, that seemed to have uh, changed its IP address as soon as I hit OK. Uh, I didn't even have a chance to hit save. So. Kind of surprised those green lights over there have not turned to red or anything. Because usually when the, they lose their link, they'll give me an indication. That one is flashing. I don't know if you can see it. 
That one's flashing because uh, the transmitter that's right above it is not powered up yet. And that device is connected to that one, so. Okay. Oh, I heard something click. Ah, okay, so behind me, the head unit has just rebooted. That's what it was waiting for. Okay. Now let me put myself on that network. Uh, I'll put myself on that network and we'll see if that allows me to connect, uh, to talk to it. Everybody hasn't gotten the memo yet. All right, all right, come on, read the site settings. There we go. Almost. Almost there. Let's go. So you know in the movies when they show the hacker and it's just furious typing. And, you know, there's code flashing all over the screen. And it's this whole exciting montage. Yeah, well, in real life, it is nothing like that. It's pretty anticlimactic, if you will. Well, not that we're hacking. We're not hacking, but we are doing a lot of configurations, which is a lot of typing, a lot of back end stuff. And really, it's, I bring up a web page, I click in the text box, I type in the new IP address, I hit submit, ta-da. And then, you know, for the other thing, the, uh, the switch configuration and the configuration of the uh, Fortinet, it's, it's all just kind of anticlimactic. I'm up here a lot later than I expected. I know there's not a lot of footage of what I did, but I mean, do you really want to sit there and watch me click, click, click? That's pretty boring, I know. All right, well that's about all the damage we can do today. And hopefully when I get back down, I still have connectivity to everything. Uh, we're doing the SD-WAN now, and I think every single site is now on SD-WAN or somehow connected in that fashion. So, the end is in sight. Okay, well, thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for being here, for joining me, and um, for being you and for being a part of this channel. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not. And while you're here, uh, watch some of the other videos, and I really do appreciate it when you do do that. So, until then, it's kind of warm still. I mean, like I'm in kind of this light sweatshirt and my sleeves rolled up. It's, it's, yeah. Anyways, it is beautiful. I mean, golden hour with right above the fog layer that's out there and man, it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, until next time, if you are in a cold climate, stay warm.